Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here, and um, I'm just going to do a quick RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. It's going to be a bit quicker than the one, because I actually just made it, and uh, discovered it was about 12 minutes long, because I made a mistake. So, this one is going to be much quicker, and not waste a huge amount of your time. It's only one script, or two scripts, and it really shouldn't be taking me 12 minutes to do. It took me 12 minutes, because I did it as I was doing the video. So, we'll start again, and here we go. So, let me just get you onto my main screen here. Okay, so on this... Oh, well, you can't see my camera, but on this right hand side um, we have the uh, web page with the shop manager and the Saloni shop and on here I've got my RPG Maker VX Ace demo thing, the thing I use to test out all the scripts and stuff and it is already actually set up because I've just done it. So, I'm going to go through the procedure to get it done. Okay, so First off, we have the Salonly shop, of course, which is what you want. However, it's worth noting, or you must know, that there is a prerequisite script, as there is to a lot of these very specific ones uh, that you're going to have in your game. So we do have the shop manager, which is the um, prerequisite, which is the one you have to put in before. Uh, I will put both. I will put the links to both of these in the description, so you can click on it. And um, of course, do remember to give credit as well for the scripts. At the, in the credits or something. Um, okay, anyway, so we have the shop manager script and it's great. I love the way that this guy's done it. Normally you get a really random file that you have to download and then open with a notepad, but not this time. Um, it's just so simple, basically. Um, and you literally just control and A that, all of it. The problem I had before is I missed out the begin bit and it booked it up. So you copy that which is going to be your shop manager obviously go to your script editor in your game um, and as you can see here I have the shop manager and the battle engine under my materials and they're both at the top because they're the as I say they're the prerequisite script so they need to be higher up so the shop manager is this one that I've just put in and I've named it shop manager it's best to keep it as to what it is or I like to do that I'm uh, maybe a, a bit OCD about that and that literally just goes in like that straight in so paste that in from the start easy. Okay, so that's the shop manager in and done. Next you're going to need the style only shop which is here and the script is just easy again click on it, it loads, takes you to the page control A that again um, insert a new one so you just right click and then insert and it will insert a new one make sure it's under the shop manager silly phone and then copy and paste it in and of course name it style only shop easy peasy. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is create a merchant or a shopkeeper. So to start off with you have to put in a script call with, and then type in um, shop um, underscore type equals suddenly shop in the brackets. Uh, it is all contained within this page here and it tells you how to use it and everything so it's nice and easy and then you put in your shop processing um, can, I get, can I get that up? I must be able to yep. and the, what this does is if you click purchase only that means you can sell whatever you want to the shop if not you can only sell what you've specified there and for the price now the rest of the items which are purchased only will be half their value just as a standard what it sells for basically so what I've done is I've decided to test this out I put two chests in, one contains a potion and one contains an antidote. So the antidote is on its price in the database is 30 gold and the potion is like 50 or something. Um, but that's going to be obviously sold for 500 because I've specified the price of 500. So when I start the game it should all work. I don't think I've missed out anything. I hope I haven't. I hope I haven't gone through it too quickly. Um, Really don't need that music on. There we go. And oh, I'm not sure if this is going to be too small. Hold on. Let me just create a. Um, let me just make this a little bit bigger for you to see, just so you can actually tell it is working. Uh, any questions you have about this, or any specifics about the thing, about this script that you need answering, just drop me a comment, of course. And um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Can do. Okay, that's about the best I can do for that. Let's not cut off this. No, I don't know. Anyway, 
you can see enough of it for it to matter. So we go in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off obviously by getting the stuff out of the chest, just so that we can sell it on. So potion antidote. We go to the shopkeeper, and there is only the sell and cancel options. Uh, obviously, yeah, um, you can make arrangements to it with the scripts as well. They're quite nice. They seem to be fairly simple, so it's worth having a look through and um, seeing about it basically. So we click on potion, and indeed it comes up for sale at 500 gold. So great. That's right, so that's what we specified it as. Now the antidote, that comes up as well at 15 gold, which is obviously half of its base price. So that's it's as simple as that. Every time you do a merchant, you are going to have to put in the... Um, you are going to put in the script call. And always, obviously, remember to save the game when you're testing the demo out, because otherwise it won't load. Uh, and I think that's pretty much everything I've covered. Hopefully this is shorter than 12 minutes. 12 minutes is just absolutely ridiculous for this sub of video. Uh, but as I said, I made mistakes, which is why, which is the problem, basically. Um, but I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, as I say, any questions regarding it, please do let me know, and I'll try my best to help out uh, with it. And um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. If anyone else has any requests that they want uh, me to do, then please uh, let me know. Put a comment in the description, send me a message through via YouTube, and I will see what I can do. If it's another script or something, then. Fine, we're doing that. It's just obviously time to get my head around the script, and um, yeah. So I hope that's helped you, and thank you very much for watching. And I will, of course, uh, see you next time, guys. Goodbye.